Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, I saw a post made by a Muslim, supposedly he want to expose me. You know, it's funny how the Muslim kids react. He might be 50 years old, but for me he is a kid. Uh, you know, I, I want to show you in here in this video, he want to prove that Quran do not have errors. And my claim that Quran is full of false miracles, and actually it is errors, is completely a lie. How he want to prove that? He, the Muslim, they had this conference happened long time ago in, in the Middle East. You know, they, they invited some uh, Western uh, uh, scientists or doctors. And uh, let us see what happened and show you how those scientists said what they are saying. Listen carefully. In person. Is Alaka, the next slide. Alaka is uh, Surah al Minim ayah 14. Then we created the drop into a leech like structure. Then, of that leech like structure, we made a chewed like substance. Where, where we can find this verse in the Quran? Where in the whole Quran we can find that Al Alaka is a leech like structure and uh, uh, that leech is going to be uh, something else? Where we can find it? It's a big fat lie. This is what this guy is saying. This is what they told him. They told him this is what the Quran is saying. So he is believing in it that, okay, they are honest. And this is really something, a discovery, you know. And by the way, why the scientist himself did not convert to Islam if this is really a miracle, you know. This is really funny. So what they did, they gave him a very false translation. You know what, I'm going to play what he did read for us as a translation. I'm going to play it again. Actually, I'm going to try to make the translation, the video big, so we can we can read. I hope we can. Well, I will try to zoom in. It's very small, really. But anyway, I will let him read for us what he is saying, and I will show you what the Quran is saying from the Islamic translation, but not the one they present to this man to fool him. Listen carefully what he said. 14. Then we created the drop into a leech-like structure. Then of that leech-like structure, we made a chewed-like substance. And Alaka refers to a leech-like appearance, especially at about 22 days, as shown in this slide. Okay, did, he, did, you, did you hear what he said? It's a leech. It's a leech. And this is within 20, 20, 22 days. I want you to focus with me, please, about the 22 days, because this is very important. So now what he based in, that this is about a leech, and this is about something will happen within 22 days. Let us see how this will match with the Quran. This is the verse he's talking about. Chapter 23, verse number 14. And by the way, we will change any translation you want, doesn't matter. You will see none of them is saying the word leech. Where is the word leech? Why all Muslims in their translating, they are translating the alaqa as a clot? You know what? Maybe, maybe this guy, Mufti Muhammad, is, uh, is wrong. Let us go to different translation. Big tab. Big tab is wrong too? Man, this is a disaster. Is it translated to a clot? You know what? Let us go to Yusuf Ali. Maybe Yusuf Ali is a smarter. We need to find the leash. This leash is, is, is very important. Mm -hmm. Yusuf Ali. Then we made the sperm into a clot, congealed the blood. Then that clot, we made fetus. Where is the leash? All the Muslim scholars agree with me that this is a clot. And the translation which you Muslims gave to the scientists does not exist? This is a translation of who? What you gave to this man? This is a false translation. It's just provided to him just to fool him. It's not even exist in their books. Listen, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Altafsir.com You can go and you can flip all the translation they have. Find me where we can find this leech. leech. I want to see it, where we can find it. Where? 
Just note in here that the translation they post in the video in the top, this is the, what, you, what you see, this one appearing here, this is, was not in the meeting. This is later they added in over the video. Ask yourself, how come the translation they add in here, it says a clot, look at it. Even in the translation in their screen, it says a clot. How come they give it to him as a leech when he did read the translation, but in the translation they show in the screen, it's a clot. You see the liars? Even in the video they are making themselves editing after the conference, it is a clot. They give it to him as a leech, they put it for us as a clot. Liars. Now, as long, this is what the translation is saying, so the Muslim cannot play saying, I am the one is saying. This is your Islamic websites, and those are all Islamic translation. This is the Royal Institute of Ahlul Bayt, which means this is the organization of the king of Jordan himself who owned this website. Read with me. Holy Quran and your translation or its meaning. Royal of Ahlul Bayt Institute Islamic Thought Amman, Jordan. Do you see it? I'm not the one is translating. So all of them, they are liar too. Not only me, brother. So the Muslim, they try to fool you. The same as they, they give the scientists, they give him a very false information. And look now what he said in the video. We heard him saying that this is something will transform in 22 days. Is that really what Muhammad he said? Because we have Muhammad himself explaining this verse. Let us see what Muhammad said. According to Muhammad, remember, the verse saying the first thing is sperm. According to Muhammad, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, correct hadith, uh, book number 55, hadith number 549. What it does says, read with me carefully. Allah Apostle, the true inspired said, etc. Everyone, uh, you is collected in the womb of his mother for the first 40 days for the first 40 days you are collected where in the womb of your mother for how long first 40 days as what as a sperm because remember the Quran says you are a sperm and the sper a sperm will transform to a clot and then he became a clot in the other 40 days Do you see it? And then a piece of a flesh in other 40 days. And then the story continues. Allah, he sent angels and he asked him, like, uh, happy or sad, etc., male or a female. Very funny. But important here for us that you will stay as a sperm in the mother womb. In the mother womb. Listen. In the womb for 40 days. This is not my translation. Read it. And the, uh, the second 40 days, you will turn to, into a clot. Here we go again. Even in the hadith, the Muslim translation, they translate the, the, the leech as a clot. What's wrong with the Muslims? <laughs> because simply, it's a clot. It's a blood. It's a dead blood. This is what alaqa. Alaqa to dam al-mutakhathir, which means the blood which is dead. Like if you cut yourself, there's a blood will, will, will hold itself in your skin to stop the bleed. This is what it's called in Arabic, alaqa. They translate it to the scientist to fool him that this is the leech. This is different, you know, this is different, the, 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 the same way you say the word, but this is for an insect in Arabic, not for what the Quran is saying, just to fool people. And here, we will go with the video and see what the video he said. He said that that leech will be like this for 22 days. According to Muhammad, the sperm will stay sperm for the first 40 days. Do you see it? First 40 days, you will stay as a sperm. And the other 40 days, you are as a clot. And the other 40 days, then you will turn to a flesh. Uh, Alec uh, is uh, Surah Al Minim, Ayah 14. Then we created the drop into a leech like structure. 
Then of that leech-like structure, we made a chewed-like substance. Uh, Alica refers to a leech-like appearance, especially at about 22 days, as shown in this slide. See, 22 days. This is a leech, mm -hmm. and this is the human embryo, mm -hmm. but 23 days. I think you have to agree that the similarity. Yeah, we have to agree. But you see, what they told this man, that this hadith is speaking about a leech. He's talking about an insect. And this is a graphic for the embryo. Is it correct what he is saying? He is not lying. But this is what they told him. He is comparing between things. He is not lying. But they told him the translation false. Trying to tell him that this is about a leech. Where is the leech? It's not exist. It's a clot. It's a blood. As we saw together in all Islamic translation, you see it? You can go to any translation you want, regardless of the translator. You know, you can, you can change, really. Like you want uh, Ahl al-Bayt, you want Yusuf Ali, it doesn't matter. And then ask yourself, who is the liar there? Because either the translation is a leech, as we heard in this video, or all the Muslim translation is false. Because none of them is saying leech. Where the leech? Why the Muslim say, you know, why the Muslims are fooling us, saying to us it's a clot when it is a leech? Simply because that translation made specifically to fool that poor man. And by the way, he himself did not convert to Islam, so maybe he have a benefit. It's about money, but it doesn't matter really for me. So what if he's a scientist? For me, still he look innocent. You did fool him. You did lie to him. You give him a false translation, and based in that false translation, he was talking. And now, as long as he mentioned that for the 22 days, that embryo will look like this. This is contradict what Muhammad, he said. Because we showed you that Muhammad, he said, that for the first 40 days, you will stay in your mother womb as a sperm. The second first 40 days, you will turn to, into a clot. And... Uh, Third 40 days, then you will become a flesh, piece of a flesh. Then the creation will start to make you a full human being. Then Allah angel send his angels to write his, for, uh, his word, uh, write his deeds, because Muslims, they believe in destiny, you know. And then they say happy or sad, etc., which is very funny, you know, because what the point of a praying or being, or being good or bad, if Allah is the one who is deciding for me what I'm going to be. So simply, it's a very stupid argument, very false argument. They try to fool people with it, uh, based in false translation. And you know what, to make our, our study more clear, this is a uh, biology department of University of IUPUI. Uh, they are showing us in here in this study how 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 this work you will see in here uh, how the egg start growing and they are showing us the timing you know what's important for me right now is the timing you will see from the first day to the last day there is no process it's going to be blood nothing will be blood what do you mean be blood well according to the Quran the sperm will turn into a blood, a clot, a dead, actually a dead blood, not only blood. And here you will see that this is not really what's happening. This is how it will grow. This is where the location. And this is showing you how it's moved. You know, remember, in the Hadith Muhammad, he says, right away from the beginning, you are in your mother womb. Forty days you will stay in your mother womb. And this is what he said. Is that true? Look with me. This is day number one. This is day number four, this is day number five, this is number seven to six, this is ten to eleven, this is twelve, it's, you know. So it's not what they are saying, it's a lie. Now remember, Muhammad, he said that the sperm will be in the womb, the sperm itself, not the egg. The sperm will be in the womb for 40 days. 40 days the sperm is alive, doing nothing there, like what, singing songs? And here, notice with me that this is a fluid in the day number 10 and 14, it's a fluid. 
and that fluid later is going to make what the blood cells and germ cells so this is later this this is where they will come from now embryo start to form as embryonic disc is that what the Quran is saying you know this is what Muhammad said Muhammad he said 40 days as a sperm then 40 days as a clot then 40 days as uh, uh, you will become a flesh the total is 120 days this is false because in here we will see if you continue reading in four in in, 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 in uh, week number four the embryo start the development which which week week number four remember Muhammad he said in the hadith that the first 40 days you are still a sperm now in the in the in the week number four which means is, is less than 30 days we have an embryo and the embryo embryo is is developing its its uh, its own organ according to Muhammad hadith we have still for the first two days 40 days sorry we still have a sperm in the womb then we became a clot somebody will say from where you get the word sperm it doesn't say in here sperm no it does let me tell you why because the Quran says that you are first as a sperm drop of semen will transform into a clot you can change the translation whatever you want you see so in the beginning he is a sperm he go to the womb according to Muhammad here we go the sperm is going to turn into a clot so what the first stage it's a sperm then it's going to turn into a clot what Muhammad said the first is 40 days then you will become a clot read it you will become a clot in the second 40 days which means the first 40 days is what you will be a sperm now according to this study in here this is university those are doctors uh, they are saying clearly that this is in the week number four when in the week number four according to Muhammad in the first 40 days according to Muhammad this is should not be exist at all he should be a little just a drop of sperm then he will turn to a clot and here almost we have a we have a look of a baby and this is between week number four to eight according to Muhammad between the week four to eight we are still in the stage of a clot because after after the first 40 days you know is going to turn into a clot as the hadith shown us in here you see it read it this is the first 40 days and then he became a clot for another 40 days is that a clot for you mr muslim it is not so simply you know I'm, I'm so grateful actually Muhammad that he did uh, explain it because then the Muslim cannot say oh this is his own explanation because now we have Muhammad saying that so Muslims cannot lie and you will see in here if you go uh, uh, you know uh, Muhammad he said that he made it uh, made it bones and then he cloned it with the flesh this is false you see the baby this is now in, in, in week number uh, uh, 40 week number uh, sorry between week number 9 to week number 40 this is a baby have bones already etc you know what those guys are talking about it's just a big fat lie this is how they try to fool you saying to you that this is really from God it is not it is a big fat lie and this is how we expose you so when you when you bring to us as you know a scientist saying such a thing simply you are not being honest you are a liar because this scientist himself you fooled him he is a victim of the Islamic deception this is why I advise everybody to buy my book, which is called The Deception of Allah. Thank you very much, and follow with me more videos. Thank you.